Hey everybody, it's Scott from Filmora Effects. I wanted to go over some new, brand new features for you from the new Filmora 11. Coming out very shortly. This thing is just loaded with new features. Some are very prominent, like the new stock media, one of my favorite new features. It ties you directly into Jiffy for GIFs and stickers. Pixabay and Unsplash. I really um, appreciate Filmora doing this because I use a lot of stock images. Uh, Pixabay, you can get images and videos. Unsplash, you can get some photos. I'll quickly demonstrate. So let's say you need a tree. Just type in tree. Uh, I've already got one downloaded, so we'll just use this tree right here. Um, and it's as easy as that, guys. Once you download your your picture or your um, video or whatever you're getting it puts it right up in your downloads folder for you so you don't have to do it again it's right there um, it's a little gif I got so um, so this is a really awesome feature um, I've been looking for something like this for a while so you no longer need to go off to these individual websites uh, log in get your stuff download put it in your downloads folder import it back in to film more it's already here it's already here. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's get some. Uh, let's get another one down here for you real quick. Let's just drag it right on top for you right there. I want to show you one other thing real fast. We double click this. Uh, masks is now right on the screen for you. It just makes uh, doing masks a whole lot easier. You can create some custom masks like always. You can just do some regular. Uh, let's do a let's do a heart. So now we've got a heart. Look at that. It's just built right in, guys. Let me show you something awesome here. We'll do a rectangle uh, right in the middle. Um, and what we can do, because you notice that they've included uh, keyframing right here with it. So let's bring this back to the beginning. We'll add a keyframe. Uh, we're just going to go back to the end here and add a second keyframe. And let's adjust the height a little bit to bring it all the way out and say OK and you can see what we've done very simply on the fly look at that you got the wheels spinning now right guys there's a lot of stuff cool stuff you can do here uh, you can just 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 an enormous amount of potential with the new version of filmora 11 oh look at her awesome huh let's talk about another major feature of filmora 11 that is custom speed ramping wow can you believe that guys custom speed ramping is built right in let me show you really quickly uh, i've downloaded from pixabay a little video here of some cars moving okay and you just go ahead and just watch this in normal speed it's like 10 seconds long Now, I think everyone knows how we used to speed ramp. We would find a place. Uh, let's say we wanted to um, slow that green car down a little bit right there. Okay, so the old way would be you would split the track. Uh, then you would find where you wanted it to speed back up again, split the track again. Then you would go in, uh, set a speed of, um, usually I would use 16, <clears throat> and then um, put some transitions before and after it. And there you go. <clears throat> That's the old way. No more, guys. Throw that out the window. Let's do it the new fun way. Click on your speed. Now you can still use your uniform speed. Slow, fast, normal, freeze frame. You remember all that. But look at this, speed ramping. All right, built right in. And notice I have not split the track, by the way. So built right in are some speed ramps for you. Flash in, flash out, jumper. These are all really fun. Uh, and customize even funner if you choose one of these we'll use um, montage okay what that does is apply it across the entire track or where whatever you have okay and as you scroll across your track you can watch the line move up top and you can see where we're speeding up and slowing down so let's say right here I want it to go really fast I can add an adjustment point, raise that up to 10 times, move it over a little bit, add in another adjustment point, and just drop that speed completely because that's what I want in my video. 
boom. And it's going to do it without having to add the transitions and all of the other stuff. And let's watch that back real quick. Boom. And then slow down. Is that just amazing or what? This, this may be the, the number one feature for me of uh, why I would choose to use Filmora 11 to edit my videos right here. You know, I don't speed ramp a lot, but when I do, it's a pain in the old way. Not anymore, guys. It's just so simple. Double click, get you right back here. And now, instead of using montage, first we're just going to go no. And uh, let's use custom. So, right now, there's no speed anywhere. I can take that adjustment point and just slide it. Okay, so let's go with the let's go for this brownish looking car right now. Let's just work on that brown car. So that brown car is coming at us. And right about here I want to slow him down. Okay. So let's slow him down. And then we're gonna move that brown car so he's slow, 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 slow. Boom. Let's stop him right there. Let's add a point and let's ramp him back up stretch it out you see where I'm going I can I can make him come right back really fast or gradually increase the speed back to normal and done I can also save that as a preset and that could be my own little custom speed ramp in the future let's watch that brown car come at us now oh look at him slow down and boom he gone guys custom speed ramping um, they're also called it curved ramping in Filmora 11 is one outstanding feature. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me some comments. It's very important to subscribe as I'll be going over a lot more features of Filmora 11. I'll be going into some details. We're going to drill down pretty deep into some of this new stuff for you. And uh, I think you're going to find it pretty fascinating and very, very interesting. And uh, soon, I believe, you'll be making all of your videos with Filmora 11. See you soon.